So this morning we got to take our feeder pig to the butcher who we've been raising up for about six months now and he's getting really big so we got to go load him up in the trailer and close it behind him. Hopefully he gets up all right but I guess we're gonna have to wait and see. I don't know. 40 degrees feels so cold. Ready? I hope it's not too slippery for him this morning. <laughs> Come on, pig. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. Come on. Come on. There you go. Yeah. Well, I've been training him to do it for the last few days. So, well, we're taking this guy to the butcher. And as you can probably tell, this is not a uh, Idaho pasture pig. We uh, decided to raise a different breed this time to see how we like it, see how we like the growth rate and the taste of the meat. Um, and this is a Tamworth Berkshire, so a uh, much larger pig, a uh, much different pig. But uh, there's kind of a cool little thing you can do because if you, you, know, you don't have a scale on your farm and you want to figure out how much your pigs weigh. You can actually use like one of these, this is like from a sewing kit, one of those tape measures. And there's a specific calculation you can do to figure out how much, or get very close to how much your pig weighs. So we're gonna do that because we're curious how close it's gonna be to what the butcher has. So the first measurement we take is all the way around the belly, right behind the shoulders. And that is 47. And then the next one we take is right behind the ears to the base of the tail, which he's so long, which is 50. What does it say, 47 to 50? Yeah. I gotta figure that out, let me see. So it's girth times girth times body length divided by 400, yeah. So 47 times 47 times 50 divided by 400. So he should be about 276 pounds live weight right now, which is pretty good. It's pretty good. This guy's currently eating dry feed just because I'm gonna take it from him here in a second when we close the door. but. We've been feeding him about six and a half pounds of soaked, organic, uh, soy-free grain every single day. So he's been getting a lot and he's definitely a big pig. So I'm sure we're gonna have a lot of fat and all kinds of bacon and all that good stuff. So, well, let's, uh, let's get this trailer closed up and uh, take this guy's feed from him. This is his last meal, sadly. And then we'll get the truck hooked up and take him to the butcher. All right, ready? See you, buddy. All right. You got it? There you go. Careful, that is on. We've never really set up a trailer in a pig pen before and just left it there for a week, but this week I wanted it to be really easy to load them in, and as you can tell, that was, that was really easy for us. We haven't had that kind of luck with loading pigs before. Uh, doing this sort of thing. So I think we'll definitely keep that up and just leave the trailer in the pasture and feed them in it, get them comfortable with it for, you know, the week before we take them. Well, we're off to the butcher shop. The, uh, butcher we're going to is right down the road from us which is nice but it's a uh it is an Amish butcher so we'll probably film arriving but we've you know out of respect for them we're not going to film while we're there um but yeah we're really curious to see what our hanging weight is compared to our our uh, measurement weight and uh hopefully the pigs in the back doing all right and we should be there soon
Ashlyn and I are out here in the garden and we had a pretty successful year of gardening this year. We put a bunch of stuff in candy, you know, canning jars and uh, in the freezer and whatnot and then everything we ate throughout the year. It's all died off at this point so there's nothing really growing except in our uh, raised beds. We got some peppermint uh, and spearmint and then down in the next raised bed we have some herbs. And then over here where Ashlyn's standing we had some uh, peanuts that we were growing in there. They didn't really pan out very well so uh, we we're going to be planting garlic today because last year we didn't plant any garlic and we kind of went a whole year without it which was a bummer. So uh, it's you know the end of October and it's perfect time to plant this garlic so that way in June next year we have a really good harvest. So we're going to get this uh, little bit of raised bed cleaned out and then we're going to start planting. Oh, that's a salamander. Oh, he's cute. Whoa. He's pretty. We cleaned out all the weeds and the peanut plants that we had in here, kind of shuffled the dirt around a little bit. And now we are going to plant our garlic cloves all up in here. Did you plant already right here? Uh-uh. Okay. Like all the way up. <laughs> well, it's, uh, it's been a pretty great year for us. Uh, some of you may know we got married back in June, which was awesome. And then we ended up buying some rental properties, which we're just finishing up now. So hopefully we'll be getting back to more regular videos. Uh, but I would say probably the most exciting part of <laughs> our year has been some pretty exciting news that we got, uh, what, a couple, few months ago now. Uh, yeah, you, almost three months ago now. Yeah, you wanna? <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know how to say it. It's pretty basic. <laughs> when we're just having a baby. <laughs> yeah. We're, uh, we're having a child and it is a girl. So we're really excited for that, and I think we're going to be naming her Adeline. Yeah, due so, in April. Due in April, yes. We're very excited. and Little spring baby. Yep. Yeah, excited <laughs> that it's in spring, not in the winter time when it's all kind of dreary and whatnot. So it'll be fun to start the you know spring and summer with a baby. And um, we're, yeah, we're, we're so excited to raise kids <laughs> out on a homestead like this and you know, if you're, if you're curious, we do plan on homeschooling. I mean, I know we're, we're some years out from that, but we do plan on homeschooling and doing that yeah. sort of thing. So, um, but yeah, we're so excited for kids to be able to run around here and it, yeah, I mean. It's just a good way of life to live yeah. and raise kids up on. Exactly, exactly. Neither of us were raised like this, uh, not even close. Uh, I think we like had our moments, but nothing like on 26 acres and being able to run no. around and do whatever you want to do. So very different. Uh, we're excited to see what that does for kids and you know we see it all over the place like on youtube there's plenty of families that raise kids like this and so that's a big inspiration for us and uh yeah we're, we're really excited so we just wanted to share the news with you and uh hopefully we'll we'll be back with some more consistent videos here soon yeah. and uh I, i'm sure we will once our our rentals are done so but thank you guys so much for watching mm -hmm. and we'll see you in the next one mm -hmm.